Alright, so I'm Mr. Brother Yakov from Sierra Soda, Florida, giving all praise to you. How about you? How about you? Macaw Kodash. Sped it up a little quick, you know. <clears throat> but uh, I was watching Elder Post the Heart's video about, you know, be, you being homeless for not taking the RFID microchip. Alright, and uh, so I said, you know what? Why not, you know, look into uh, a survival backpack? You know, a survival backpack, you know, just just in case anything happens. And there's nothing wrong, you know, with being prepared. You know, don't be that guy. And nothing wrong with having faith because we all have faith. This is a faith based thing that we're into. But don't be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't 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 not ever not pre be wise. You know, you don't just. Be wise, dude. Like, don't be, like, be wise, man. You know, don't say, oh, uh, I'm not going to take a shower because I'm getting a new body anyway. Don't be that type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Be wise. Take a damn shower. You know? Not saying that, you know, any brother don't take a shower. But I'm just saying, I'm just using an example. All right? So, I'm looking into it. And as I'm looking through it, man, you know, a lot of people are, hey, man, a lot of people already know. Or assuming what's going to come out of stock, 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 out of stock. You go down and down and down, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. <laughs> you see, because people are getting ready for this, man. All right? People are not playing. And these people are about their business, man. You know, prices are going up on it. You know, uh, uh, a military tactical backpack. Hey, it's getting, it's getting real, you know. And shit, I was thinking about buying me one, you know, just for whatever happens, because you could be homeless in this thing, man, you know, you might have to set a fire or some shit, you know, you never know, but I wasn't really planning on this being a lesson, I just wanted to show you, brothers, that people are starting to prepare themselves, right, <laughs> people are starting to prepare themselves, it's be into that time, <laughs> but... As I said before, I'm going to go into the chip as the RFID microchip. Try to put it out in every video I could. So, you have no excuses, man. Alright. You have no excuses. That don't mean go out there and try to doomsday prep. Nah, man. It's just be wise. You know, get what you need and get going. You know, don't try to go out there and doomsday prep. That's not having faith. Trying to uh, stock up on canned goods and buy masks. The scriptures say he who seeks to save his life shall lose it. Alright, but he who loses his life shall save it. And I'm gonna get into that too. But this is the book of Revelations thirteen and sixteen. He causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, see he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Get some water real quick. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for the number of a man, his number is 603 score and 6. Now you go into the RFID building. RFID building. All right. You know, what does that say? What does the RFID building say? 666 Fifth Ave, RFID chip building. You see? Scripture just say his number is 666. All right. Now going back, he who seeks. To save his life. Luke 17 and 13. I mean 17 and 33. Salakia. So <clears throat> this is the book of Luke. Chapter 17. Verse 33. Whoever shall. It's, this, and this is our Lord. I didn't mean to copy it. You know. But this is our Lord. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Speaking. Right? He's written in red. Whoso, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Yeah, because we're going to lose. Oh, 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 let me go back. It's uh, 31 because this, this is a good one. This is Luke 17 and 31. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, let him not corn down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Oh, man, that's cold, man. This is a beautiful one. Because the Lord is saying, hey, man, 
when all hell breaks loose, don't look to Kirk. Hey man, don't turn back. You know, get going. You know, so if you have, you get what you you get what you need, and you get going, man. You know, I don't think Lot, on in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, was, you know, was 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 was, uh, you know, trying to trying to uh hoard her. You know what I'm saying? Trying to bring like. Ten duffel bags. I don't think he was doing that, man. I think Lot got what he needed at that time period and got gone. You know, grab a backpack. So you brothers, grab a backpack and get gone, man. You know, grab a uh whatever you need. You know what I'm saying? And go. You see? Because the scriptures say, man, he who who whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. So we not out here buying masks. We not out here wearing masks. And, and not, not saying nothing is wrong with me on masks because... You agree with the adversary. You know what I'm saying? Agree with the adversary if you have to. If they force you, if they say, hey, man, we need you to wear this mask. Don't be a jackass. Wear the mask, all right? And then, uh, an elder apostle hard, he, 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 don't stop saying he's not having faith because he's wearing the mask. You simple ones, all right? He's wearing the mask because, you know, the, the, the cops can roll up on him, <clears throat> you know, and, and throw anything down saying, oh, he's not doing this, he's not doing that, you know. So he agreed with the adversary. Hey, right. but yeah, man. But for guys out there wearing a mask to protect themselves, now that's a different story. All right, you guys are faithless. All right, he say, whosoever shall seek to lose, save his life, shall lose it. All right. So if you out here doomsday prepping, you know, st super stocking up on food, and there's not nothing in do. Listen, it's not nothing wrong with going to shop. You know, for your house, get what you need for your house. That's that's cool, but don't don't be out here trying to fucking buy a hundred canned goods and don't do that, man. You know, but now in the time to come, in the time to come, get get some canned goods and go. You know, what you say? All right, so lucky about that. But going back to what I was saying, um. Hey man, if when that time to come, hey, get a can good. You know, you never know when it, the Lord say, "My servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry." So the Lord gonna feed us again. You know, and get a can good. Shit, take it with you and get like a little uh, what 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 he was saying? A little uh, a portable uh, Pastor Hart saying like a little portable stove, whatever he was saying. But hey, we just in that time period. I wasn't making uh, meant, I wasn't it wasn't meant for this to be long. I was just going into how, you know, guys are uh, preparing, you know, because I looked up a survival backpack, you know, first aid kit, you know, some simple things, you know, that you might need, man. All right. But we going to be good. We going to be all right, because ultimately we only we, we really don't need none of it, you know. But if you want to be be wise, you know, what I'm saying you might have to carry some things, carry a backpack. But uh, I just wanted this to be quick, you know, Lord, whether you were edified. You know, I want to give all praise to you. How about you, man? How about you, man? How about you, know, we are not out here doomsday prepping, man. Uh, we're not doomsday prepping. We're not building underground bunkers. <laughs> hey, we all right. All right. Shalom.